Today, let's talk about the white flag thing that happened uh, throughout Malaysia right now. White flag has been raging in Malaysian social media lately because of the public campaign on the social media that call for desperately needed families to raise a white flag in front of their houses to be noticed by the neighbors or charities or authorities to seek for help. And some people say that it resembles a defeat and surrender because white flag means that you are losing the war. However, actually white flag has more purposes than signaling defeat in history than what are the other uses. Welcome to Geo Malaysia. White flag as the symbol of surrender is universally mean the same but the tradition is developed independently in the western world and also in the eastern part of the world. In the eastern part of the world, it is believed that the tradition of waving the white flag started during the Eastern Han Dynasty between 25 and 220 AD, even though the tradition might start earlier than the mentioned date. In the book of history written by Cornelius Tacitus, the white flag is all the usage of white flag is mentioned as the sign of surrender. However, it is much more common for the Roman armies or the op enemies to surrender by simply holding up the shield or dropping out altogether. He mentioned about the second battle of Cremona between the Vitalians and the Vespasian in the 69 AD during the year of four emperors. It is much more common at the time for the losing side to hold their shields above their heads. During the Middle Ages and also during the Renaissance, it is much more acceptable to simply wave the white flag as the sign of surrender. Actually, white flag is means more than surrender. In fact, it means neutrality for the villagers who are really like not participated in the war. And the white flag also can signaling the willingness to negotiate and thus the diplomats or the negotiators who go to the opposing side cannot be attacked or be killed because they are ready to make uh, some uh, negotiations. What is traditionally adapted as just a tradition in Europe has been codified into the Hague Convention of 1899 in the Article 32. An individual is considered a parliamentary who is authorized by one of the belligerents to enter into communication with each other who carries a white flag. He has a right to inviolable ability yeah uh, so hard to say the word as you've been wondering why white flag is chosen as the color of a surrender or negotiation because white is actually the simplest the most plain and most readily available color uh, of on the clothes available uh, colored clothes were not cheap in the ancient world and artificial coloring is only appeared on the 19th century and color clothes are often expensive and inaffordable to many people. The usage of white clothes also include the civilians who are not often not related to the war happened to the nearby houses and simply because the villagers are really poor and living in the poverty stricken, uh, it much more sense to wave the white flag because they don't even have maybe do not have a color of uh, clothes instead. And another reason is perhaps white is often contrasted with the surroundings, make it easier to see and white flag often connected to surrender and it might be contrasted to the colorful banner of marching armies carried into battle, as you can see. There are usage of white flag more than the sign of surrender or neutrality or to negotiate. Other than that, the white flag has been used as a tribute to the medical workers in Belgium in year 2020. In the capital city, Brussels, the white flag has been flown throughout the country and was Belgium with white flag because they simply gave up and surrendered to the pandemic? Of course they are not because it is simply to show the tribute to doctors and nurses that work tirelessly. And, and just to be clear that the medical coat that the doctors always wear in the hospital is also colored uh, a white. The white flag is also being used as a base to make the national flag in some countries, for example, the flag of Cyprus and also for the international organization, for example, International Red Crescent Society and also in the magical world of a lot of the rings in Middle Earth is the flag of Gondor. Oh, what's mean? 
the usage of white flag is also being recorded in the history of the Islamic empires. White flag is actually the official flag of the Umayyad Caliphate ruled from Dam ruled from Damascus. On the early 20th century, when the flag of Arab revolt was introduced to signaling the supremacy of Arab rules over the Ottoman Empire, white has been incorporated into the Arabian flag which represented the Umayyad Caliphate and even today, almost all Arab flags has white in their flags except to find for yourself. White flag has been used long before in this country not to detonate surrender but to symbolize a group or a faction of people in 19th century Penang, red and white faction existed in Georgetown, which is a more of a economic and social divide than the ethnic. Each red and white flag groups, they have a Malay groups in there, Chinese, they have Indian Muslim and Indian Hindus within the group and always are fighting against each other. Sometimes they again fighting but often in a Borea contest. Malina Musa from University of Science Malaysia wrote a book specifically about history of these factions that unite and divide Penang regardless of ethnic and religions up until their existence on the 1940s. And in fact, some of the Malay states used to have a white banner several times in history for various reasons. Uh, obviously, this uses not for surrender. It was only during the Japanese occupation during the World War II in 1942 and 1945 that white flag started to be accepted as the universal sign of surrender, which is more popularized by none other than the British. As a conclusion, white flag has many meanings throughout the history of mankind and including the history of Malaysia. And white flag is unnecessarily means defeat since it can be correlated to a group of people or even a state because in the 19th century coloring is so expensive that or uh, the flag usually only one or two colors so some states in malaya actually only use one or two colors including white white flag equal surrender is much more common because of the uh, japanese occupation in the world war ii between 1942 and 1945 when the british uh, forces uh, flew the white flag they did not surrender and three years later the Japanese did the same afterwards white flag equal to surrender because like the color is much more accessible than the color of the states in Malaya also start to be much more colorful so the, the logical reason why white flag is being chosen to call for help because it's the simplest cheapest and most accessible color Almost all houses in Malaysia, no matter how poor you are or how, matter how far you live from the city, should be have at least one school uniform, which is white, and also one um, working uh, shirt, which is uh, often have like uh, even a white t-shirt, by the way. So, white is the most accessible color after all to make a flag itself for help. Or you want a green one. <laughs>